I'm not surprised, but I want to be things to be improved. Things could be improved and get into action. A recent study from the Center for Research Action on Race Relations finds Asian Montrealers are grossly underrepresented on Montreal city boards and commissions, making up just 2% of the boards of municipal and para municipal agencies and structures. When Montrealers of Pacific or East and Southeast Asian backgrounds make up more than 7% of the population of the island. As the city recognizes Asian Heritage Month, some are calling on Montreal to appoint more people of Asian descent to city positions. The different Asian communities need to be represented. We are absent and being absent meaning that we are ignored. When there's things, hate incidents that happen to our communities, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a start and we need to talk about it more and having some elected officials, people on board of our community representing us will give us a voice. There is a need in our city, whether it's at the city level, provincial level or federal level for more cultural representation, diversity. Stephanie Valenzuela is a Montreal city councillor. She's Filipina and the only person at city council from Asian descent. She's part of the opposition and demands the city does more. It is so important to see that at different levels of governance because it does not just give the um, image or the illusion that we're being represented properly, but there is a, a real understanding of what's going on on the ground and um, the experiences that people are living. Pacific East and Southeast Asians represent one of the largest racialized communities in Montreal, but Krar says they face systemic barriers of exclusion. When it comes to people of Pacific or East Asian backgrounds, there's usually this kind of almost systematic forgetfulness on the part of decision makers to appoint to ensure fair representation of people of uh, Pacific Asian backgrounds to uh, different positions in the public sector. Kwar calls on the city to ensure Asian appointments to every city board and commission and achieve a 5% representation level by next year's Asian Heritage Month. The city of Montreal did not respond to our request for comment in time for air. Leaving people out, leaving people behind and ignoring the fact that the city has a sizable Pacific Asian population that needs to be recognized in a more equitable and dignified way, especially during Asian Heritage Month. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.